The gun you're looking at right now is the American 240 Bravo. This is basically an FN mag with some improvements made by the US military and is truly a testament to how reliable a firearm can be. In fact, during the Yom Kippur War, IDF units reported that only their FN mags were running as they approached the Suez Canal. So let's take a look at it, shall we? To field strip the FN mag, what you do first is to press this latch located on the left side of the receiver. This retains the barrel. Crews would normally carry an extra barrel for replacing when the barrel gets hot, as general purpose machine guns do. And when you depress it, rotate the handle up, lift the barrel right out. Your assistant gunner would then replace that barrel with a new cold barrel. To remove the gas plug or change the gas setting, first switch off the collar and push the plug out. The plug has three settings labeled 1, 2, and 3, 3 having the largest port to divert the most gases into the action. Typically you wouldn't change this unless the gun was malfunctioning. And having shot this gun extensively, I haven't had that problem yet. Now that you've removed the barrel, it's time to remove the stock. Press the latch located on the bottom and it slides up with ease. At this point you still have a spring retaining the bolt carrier group op rod and bolt in place. You can see that the bolt is closed by lifting the top cover and feed tray before removing the spring. And you can see that there is tension holding everything forward at this point. To remove the spring, press in and pull out. You are then free to remove the all the carrier group, op rod and bolt assembly. Sometimes it can be a little stubborn. You'll notice the similarity between this and a Browning automatic rifle. Removing the trigger group is one of the easiest parts of field stripping this gun. It's held in by one pin that is not captive, and after pushing this out, you simply pull the group down and out. Being as how it is an open bolt gun, the trigger group is remarkably simple and is essentially a wedge that just either allows the bolt to continue floating or holds it rearward. The final step is removing the pin that holds on the feed tray and top cover. It, like the trigger group pin, is not captive and is pulled out easily from the side. Release the top cover latch at the rear of the receiver and it'll pull right off. The feed tray will then come off as well. So there you have it, an almost completely field stripped 240 Bravo. You'll notice I didn't remove the bolt from the op rod assembly because it can be a little stubborn at times, but nonetheless I hope that you learned a little bit more about this incredible weapon system from this video. Also, if you haven't had a chance to check us out shooting this gun, here's the link below in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. So go ahead and click that, subscribe, hit the like button. Thanks for watching TFB TV.